on. Hey guys, Jim Edwards here, and welcome to another episode of Funnel Scripts Live. That's why I'm wearing my cool Funnel Scripts swag, which I have to get Stu uh, uh, one of these, but I guess I don't have like it in that. a manly size. I like um, it. Would you, would you wear the unicorn shirt, Stu? I have never worn a unicorn shirt before, but I would for you. What if it's Under Armour? Does that make it better? It uh, makes it much better. Okay, cool. So for the, <laughs> those of you um, who don't remember my co-host, this is my buddy, Stu Smith, my business partner and uh, my podcast manager, producer, make sure I get podcast episodes done guy. So we actually have a question today, Stu. What is the question? Yes. Yeah, so this came in from the... Uh, funnel scripts section and uh let me see irene is that her name i, don't I, can't, know. Find, I can't, can't find it. yes it is irene irene asks uh my industry is image consulting helping women create their personal style and personal brand and i feel stuck since i can't find anything similar in clickbank to funnel hack or copy hack so what okay. industry would you say is similar to this one so I can look at some examples. Okay. Thanks for your help. Irene, I don't know because as you can see, image consulting has never been high on my list. <laughs> as far as someone to consult with me on my image, I'm just glad I'm wearing pants. But what I would tell you is that you should use the niche and offer detective wizard inside of funnel scripts because this is going to help you to do your research so let's jam on over there real quick and i'm going to show you what you need to do so the niche and offer detective wizard for those of you who don't know is down in the ofa scripts it's the fourth one down niche and offer detective wizard and this one's the easiest one to fill out of the entire one we got a cool little demo here and we got an extended demo but the bottom line what this does this solves your problem of going out and doing organized research on your niche topic. And so all we're gonna put in here, my keyword topic is image consulting. There we go. And we're gonna click build. And what this does is it makes it super easy for you to start doing some searching. So first thing we're gonna do is just go do a quick Google search of image consulting and see what comes up. So personal online stylist, take your quiz today, stitchfix.com. This is an ad. I would click on that and just see what they got. All right, that ain't it. Mm -hmm. Because, well, I mean, that's just, that's somebody trying to sell clothes and stuff. Right, they yeah. have a e-commerce site. Correct. Yeah. Image consulting tips, image consulting business, image consulting on Wikipedia. I would do, I would go read that. Um, how much do image consultants make? Pros and cons of starting an image consulting business about image consulting. Um, how to be an image. Con so a lot of these are how to be an image consultant rather than people hiring an image consultant. That's interesting. These are all about become one. And that's, that's telling because I would say somebody looking for that, maybe instead of trying to sell the services, I would sell people on setting up the service their own, themselves. And you can ah. see from, from Google Trends, this is actually relatively steady uh, interest in that, which is cool. So let's put in image consulting expert. Let's look for that because what we're looking for is people so Association of Image Consultants International, this might be a way where you, chapters, training, events, this might be a way that you could back into finding people who are image consultants and looking at their websites and seeing, this also could be a play, online courses and CEUs. Um, these are, Sponsors, so I would check out the sponsor sites, especially this one. Um, let's go back real quick because what we're looking for is expert image consulting. Okay, so finally, there you go. I think we found somebody. <laughs> so let's look at this. Evolve your evolve <laughs> your consultants. Evolve. Mm. <laughs> this doesn't look like a really good site. Let's look under services real quick. Individual corporate specialty, master makeup sessions. 
but again, we're, we're narrowing it down. This is, I mean, this is how I would do it. I, if you're not finding stuff on ClickBank, that's not necessarily a bad thing in this case, because I don't know that image consultants really are going to be selling stuff on ClickBank, which what you're looking for, this is another, so this is the same one. Elizabeth Wonder. That's interesting. She's got an article here. I wonder if that is like the first part of the funnel, like bringing people in with articles or programs. And then they, on the back end, they hit them with the service of, you know, yeah. the higher end service provider, or maybe even coaching to become the image consultant. Yeah. I mean, that looks like a lot of the money is teaching people how to be image consultants. Uh, this person. Not a bad I'm, idea. No, it's not a bad I idea. Have a portfolio of your stuff that you've done in the past. And then, you know, you could, you might be able to pick up clients that are wanting to have their image perfected. But then yeah. you also pick up people who want to learn how to do what you do. I think that is a deeper funnel. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. You definitely need to have some front end stuff because before somebody hires an image consultant, they're probably going to be looking for different related topics um, like wardrobe or dressing for success or or makeup first. I don't, I don't know what those terms are. Um, let's do image consulting FAQ frequently asked questions, personal. Here's one image. Now this one, this is good to, this should give you some cool things. Again, this, these could be articles I mean, Great ones. or blog posts or videos or that kind of stuff. Let's look at their programs here. Request a price, executive presence, image confidence, click image to schedule a discovery call. Mm. Ooh, I like okay. it. Yeah, it sounds better than a sales call. Um, now they got self paced individual programs. Did you see that? It was to review? Yeah, that's really cool. Great program. coaching idea. Individual programs. How to make the right impression, view course. That's Thinkific. I would I would check out Image Cube. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. Yeah, there's FAQ inside out image consultant. So it looks like this is a way that you could back into actual image consulting places because they all have their FAQs. Austin's top image consultant and personal something or other. Personal stylist. But again, as far as knowing that they're making sales and stuff like that, I don't want to join your list. <clears throat> There's really so many places you can go with this one, especially your, your target audience, because, you know, women, clothing, makeup, I mean, know, this is hairstyles. I mean, this is pretty so much more. That's really good there. I mean, this that. is really good here where they're laying out these, all the steps that's included in this particular <clears throat> service. I'm just looking to see if they, what you'll get. I mean, this, a lot of this is a lot of features if you threw in some benefits and meaning and stuff you know list of items to tailor from your closet so you can look like you're spending spend a million dollars on clothes and feel like a million dollars too without <laughs> spending much um there's no price but i mean i wouldn't be above secret shopping you know, just calling yeah. up and saying, how much is it? Depending on how good of a salesperson they are, though, it might be tough to do. But I mean, as we look through this and you're going through, we're finding people who are consultants. 
how do we know whether they're selling or not? Mm, that's tougher. I will admit that. But this doesn't seem like the kind of thing that you're going to see on um, ClickBank. This, this, un unless you created a course on how to be an image consultant, and then that is something you could throw up on ClickBank. So I would look to see if maybe there was someone selling a how to be an image consultant product on ClickBank that you could look at. Uh, Hey, check out the one up there that was uh, image consulting mistakes. Okay. Just curious. Very bottom. No mistakes, professional image consulting firm. Wow, that's not a really good name, but whatever. Um, <laughs> like, hey, let's let's really sew a great image in people. I don't mind. kill anybody. Fitness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No fatalities, <laughs> fitness. Yeah. Um, find mistakes, image consultants who want to speak, make. Fashion mistakes, archive, eight advanced style mistakes. These, are, these would give you pretty cool ideas for <clears throat> videos and stuff you could make. Um, so that would be good. Five closet mistakes you're making. I don't know if we saw her before or not. All of these look like they're getting the same uh, template. I would also, you know what? I'll tell you what I would do too. I would go to YouTube and uh -huh. I would do a search for image consulting and I would look for the people who have a crap ton of views. Um, see, look at this. The, yeah. the big money in image consulting looks to me on teaching people how to be an image consultant. I would um, agree. but let's put in image consulting expert, 21 K views, 34 K views, but that's over seven years, but that's still okay. Mm. So become an image consultant, being an image consultant, makeover expert. But she's, and that's not that much. Etiquette. I'm looking for somebody who's just a freaking. And the negative on this is there aren't any paid ads. The positive is that you could run some paid ads over here relatively cheaply. Mm. But then the question is would it bring you the people you wanted? Are you, I guess, and I guess the question we don't know from her question. Read the question again. Is she trying to sell her services or is she trying to sell how to do it? Well, she says, image consulting, helping women create their personal style and personal brand. Okay, so she's selling image her, consulting yes. stuff. Okay. Um, let's put in image consulting, build your personal brand. Personal branding, how to build and manage your personal image. Dan Locke. Why do I know that name? Improve your personal brand. Okay, so <clears throat> powerful personal branding and Bastianelli. So here are people that I would start hacking these people. This Dan Locke guy. Um, this, I am, this might be the same guy. I don't know. He looks kind of Fabio ish. Um, this lady who did a Ted talk, this Ann Bastianelli, she's talking about pers powerful personal branding. She's got a couple hundred thousand views on the Ted talk. Um, this guy, this Philip Van Du. So, so here we found, hmm. we found people that you can then go search and hack them, see what their thing looks like. But this Dan Locke guy looks like somebody you should go check. Now, granted, he's probably going after dapper Dan type people, but we're looking for, you know, again, that's just a hacking thing. You want to hack. See, what yes. See what he's, see what he does on his website. See if okay. he has a link to his website on his YouTube. 
I let me oh, sure pause enough. that. Okay. Oh, no, not quite. He might build personal brand authority. That's go. his book. You got a subscription to his Mm -hmm. uh, got a free no. ebook starting at the top. Yeah. What he's got it on the bottom. Looks like we found this something. Isn't bra but this isn't branding. <clears throat> oh, I don't know the name, Dan Locke. Oh, um, this isn't the same. Oh, okay. I thought that was. It's the same guy, same but this guy. isn't. This is. <clears throat> this personal, um, personal image and personal brand. Let's look at this one. Same guy, Dan Locke. So I don't know. I think his version of personal brand is different. Let's look at this guy. I am fam. I'm alpha man. I don't know what the heck that I am alpha M. Stop doing this. Six things charming guys never do. Do it like this. <laughs> Interesting. Huh? Yeah, it's alpha male. Okay. But I would I would hack what this dude's doing, you know, is green. I mean, I would just pay attention. I would not try and do what this guy's doing because he's <laughs> built this giant website and it's not really a funnel, but yeah. I would look for the funnel in what he's doing. That somewhere in here, he's going to pitch you on something. And that's where, <laughs> that's yeah. where you want to find Where's the thing for sale? Did you see the online personal? No, where? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was per, uh, online persona. It's just helping you be a online persona. So I, I thought it was like an upsell item. <clears throat> yeah, I would check 10 things attractive guys do that ugly guys don't. Well, I can tell you right now, the bottom of my beard looked like that. And ain't nobody looking at me from that angle anyway. So it's not like they're going to freaking know. You know what I mean? Just me. Um, but I'd pay, I'd go see what this dude is doing. Hmm. Um, and this lady right here, I mean, I, I would do a search for her name, honestly. I hate ads. But this mm -hmm. Annie Bastianelli lady, senior lecturer of marketing, powerful per I think part of what you're if you're mixing the personal branding and the image consulting thing, and I think those might be two separate things as well. And her question, read her question again, Stu. All right. It Please. says my my industry is image consulting, helping okay. women create their personal style and personal brand. Okay. I think you do image consulting and personal style. Personal brand seems to be something different. Um, yeah. Again, it's just, it, it, it seems to me like you're mixing two very disparate things. Your, your image and your personal style apparently are very different from people's perceptions of what a personal brand is. That I is true. That sure. But again, since I'm not sure I have either. Well, I, I will tell you this, Jim, I didn't really realize my personal brand was uh -huh. really more swimming than anything else you know, people saw me post a lot of swimming videos. Right. right? And they started saying, ah, oh, you're the guy with the swimming videos. You know, and, and so I almost became like this guy more involved with swimming than anything else. I mean, it, it is just one section of what I do. Yeah, but, but, but it was let's, perceived as the swimming guy. But let's think about why does that work? Let's... Uh, how are you going to do videos of somebody doing push-ups? It's like wrong, uh, yeah. wrong, yes. wrong, one, one. <laughs> you know, same thing with pull-ups and sit-ups. But with swimming, there's all kind. A, it makes for good video. Yep. B, there's all kinds of form things and other things that go into it for you to be able to dissect and do all kinds of stuff. So it makes it that's a natural way for you to be able to create content that's never-ending as opposed to straighten your back, lower your butt, have your chest hit the ground and, you know, 
don't let your knees touch the deck. Yes. I was just saying that because I kind of agree with you because people tend to want to create this image and their personal style, but their brand kind of evolves from that. If that okay. makes sense. Does sure. that make sense? Yeah. I mean, you're the, yeah. your overall brand is you're the spec ops tactical fitness guy, but the style individual, I think individual stuff, you tend to gravitate to more than, than some others, just because that's how you build your, um, that's how you build your following. You can build content. Right. Diversity. And, and yeah. Right. My, my point for her, Irene, is that I would really decide between image consulting and what about image consulting, because a lot of the, most of the image consulting stuff that I saw was people either selling how to be an image consultant or local image consultants. I didn't see any image consultant stuff. Um, I didn't see anything that was like a mass market thing that people were buying and selling. If, if that makes sense. I don't yep. think a consumer is going to go and do a search for image consultant and buy a course. They may do an look for an image consultant in their local area. One thing we didn't look for was personal style. Let's, let's do that just real quick. I don't want to make yeah, this super, super long, but let's do a search for just personal style. And this is, by the way, what is uh, the script this is called again? The this detective? is the Niche and Offer Detective Wizard. Niche and Offer Detective Wizard. Yeah, but like, look at this. Personal style is probably just going to be... <laughs> That's interesting. That's a neat, neat picture. That looks like that's okay. <clears throat> um, but mm. pop quiz, what's your personal style? Find your personal style. Nine steps to defining your personal style. So this is now when you're putting in personal style, people are finding stuff that mm. has to do with actually defining your personal style. It's not be a personal style expert. So now if we put in personal style ideas, I bet there's going to be, look at this, 234 best personal style ideas, images, 91 style development images. So a lot of image stuff, that's something to pay attention to. <clears throat> a lot of your marketing and whatnot is going to be image related. So perhaps, and again, I just in, initially my thought is one of the things you really need to pay attention to, I'll bet, is Pinterest. Because oh, yeah. Pinterest is going to be big, and so is Instagram. That's hey, check out the bottom there, that what's your personal style pop quiz. Yeah, and we <clears> saw <throat> these, these people before, the Stitch Fix, yep. there's e-commerce stuff. So, yeah, but it just asks you a li list of questions, and you can – Yep. Uh, so that's pretty handy. Take the quiz, so probably going to want to have a quiz in there. Personal style expert, um, online personal stylist. Interesting. So again, depending on Nordstrom style, style consultant. Yeah. I, my gut tells me that if you're, if you're looking to create a biz op, then do something around the image consulting. If you're looking to sell a course or find and, and do something, I would do something around the personal style, personal style expert stuff. And I, unless you're trying to teach people how to create a personal brand, I wouldn't even bother including the words personal brand. <clears throat> I don't know how long we've been doing this for what, maybe 30 minutes, Close but to it. I don't know that much about image consulting and other stuff, but just by using that funnel script, mm. I, we were able to get a whole lot of insight into something that the two of us knuckle draggers know absolutely nothing about. I mean, look at us. Do we know anything about style or image consulting? Do you know about personal branding? But um, so I, I would just recommend you get in there with the niche and offer detective wizard and, and really just start digging in and spend an afternoon, get a couple cups of herbal tea ready to go. And, and just start looking. Cause I have a feeling in that um, personal style thing, you could probably find some people and I would go back and you know what? I'm going to look at one other thing and then we're going to, we're going to do this. Let's go look at Amazon real quick. 
and do a search for personal style and just see what comes up. Interesting, the curated closet. Okay, so I would do some, I would hack some of these and look for the authors and see if they got a website and other stuff like that, but that's another place to go. Mm. Um, but use that script and I think it will really help you. Just because you can't find something on ClickBank doesn't mean you should abandon hope. However, if you do a whole bunch of research and you never really find somebody who's who's selling a, a specific offer that doesn't mean it's not a good industry to go into it may represent a really cool opportunity but you need to proceed with caution but this this looks like the kind of industry where people are doing things plus or minus the same way and they're frou-frou and woo-woo and I, i'm not sure exactly how to describe it maybe <clears throat> came up with an amazing offer stack and you use the hook story offer, you could just kill it, but just get real clear on who you're selling to and exactly what you're selling. And I think it will help you out a bunch. So make sure you check out the other episodes of funnel scripts live. And uh, we will also in the very near future, let you know how you could be a guest on funnel scripts live and get your questions answered. So I'm Jim Edwards, Stu Smith. And if for whatever reason you are not a subscriber to Funnel Scripts yet, you need to head on over to FunnelScripts.com. Got an amazing training for you. We'll teach you three incredible secrets about copywriting, demo some really slick software that will help you to create money-making sales messages literally at the click of a mouse. Everybody have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.